One, two, one, two. Thanks for everyone's uh, attendance this afternoon for what is obviously a massive, massive occasion for everyone concerned. On behalf of everyone at BCB Promotions, I'd like to welcome you to today's press conference ahead of Neutral Ground, Langford versus Wellborn, Battle of the Baggies. Big thank you to everyone at West Bromwich Albion for allowing us to use their fantastic facilities today, particularly uh, Adam Brearley and, and Martin Swain. Thanks a lot, Adam, appreciate it. It's a big day and a big fight for Tommy Langford and Jason Wellborn, both big Albion fans, and on Friday the 4th of May, at Walsall Town Hall, we'll see who actually wins the Battle of the Baggies. Before I introduce the top table, I'd like to thank our show sponsors, Amphion Construction, Lion Scaffolding and Grover Casino Walsall. Without their support, we wouldn't be here today. I'll be asking the top table a few questions, then we'll open it out to questions from the floor, followed by pictures from each side, and then there'll be a chance to conduct one-on-one -on -one interviews for any members of the, of the written press and, and videographers here today. Um, joining us this, this afternoon, on my far right we have um, undefeated Walsall Featherweight, Rachel Ball, and on my far left we have Midlands Area Middleweight Champion Tyler Denny and Birmingham Super Lightweight Kane Baker. We're also joined by BCB trainer Ben Wilkes as head trainer Paul Mann is out in Poland with our undefeated Super Middleweight Zach Parker. Um, obviously we've got highly respected trainer Tom Chaney. And of course to my immediate left we have challenger Jason Wellborn and to my right British Middleweight Champion Tommy Langford. Um, I'm going to ask the undercard a number of questions first, and then obviously members of the media can, can ask some questions, and then we'll go each side. So, starting with you first, Rach, um, only two fights into your professional boxing career. It's some show to be to be on. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I can't wait. I mean, I've, I've lived in Warsaw all of my life, and I've never seen such big names coming to to Warsaw and such you know, a massive title. So, I, I can't wait to be on the show. You know all about the town, what you fought there before. It can be quite an intimidating atmosphere. Imagine when these two, two go toe to toe, 1300 sold out arena. You know what that's about. Tell the fight fans what, what kind of an arena that actually can be. It's a brilliant atmosphere. Um, you know, it's going to be cheered as well. But, you know, it's a good, it's a good location. It's a really good atmosphere there. So it's going to be a fantastic fight. For those who don't know, a former world boxing champion took, turned over last year to the programme. How much are you enjoying professional boxing? I'm loving it. It's really hard work, so I'm still working full time. But you know, I get up every morning, I go training, I come back, I get coaching, then I do my own training again. Um, you know, I'll do whatever it takes to succeed in the sport. And I'm loving the fact that I've got to almost start all over again in my fighting career and learn everything from scratch again. You know, I feel like I'm only just at the start of my, my journey, really. It's actually past my day. Kane, just a, just a word from you. Obviously, back to winning ways last Saturday at, at Dudley. Um, good victory over Michael Mooney. How did you assess your performance? Um, yeah, oh, I think it was good, uh, a good performance. Um, back to winning ways, really. So, yeah, it's good. You've had a taste of big time boxing. You've been in, in with the likes of uh, Sandy, so there, and obviously Connor Ben. But in terms of this show, is this the biggest show that you've been on locally? And what does this yeah. mean for the Midlands? Yeah. Every, everyone's talking about it. Um, it's just going to be a cracking for it. I can't wait to sit for it. Can't. If you're looking forward to it, imagine what they're like. Know, yeah, it's, it's, it's massive. It, absolutely, everyone is talking about it. Um, it'll be great. Tyler, a word from, from yourself. Obviously, for those who don't know, Tyler, Tyler Denny joined BCB um, only last week. So, um, not a bad first first gig for you, Tyler. Don't yeah. expect them all to be like this, mate. We'll <laughs> do our best. Um, how much you enjoy being part of the BCB stable? Definitely. It's, um, it's, it seems everything seems a lot more professional than like because on this for my first fight with BCB, it, it proves what sort of fight I do. The, the town hall is obviously uh, happy hunting ground for each where you lifted the, the Midlands air, area title um, at middleweight. Yeah. There's a title up for grabs here, the British title. How much would you like a shot at the winner of, of World War II? No, if there's a way of me fighting the winner, 100% Jace is good man to my love, do you know what I mean? But, um, British title. That's that's what we all get into the game for. Eh? That's why um, I thought Tommy as well known both, but definitely if I can get a fight of the winner, 100 percent I'll take that. Definitely. Thanks Tyler. On, on to the main event and as I say Paul Paul Man gives you the apologies. We have got um, trainer trainer Ben Wilkes. Ben, you, you've not long actually hung up your gloves and you've probably sparred more times with, with Jason than uh, than I've had up meals. So what are Jason's uh, what does what does he bring to the party? What are his, his skill put to set? He's, uh, he's called strong, fit, relentless. Uh, you think 
Det har vi gjort i natten. Altså, det er jo ikke en bog. Det er jo små stopper, vi får det. Det er jo små stopper. Det er jo ikke en bog. In terms, in terms of this camp and this fight, what's the regime been so far, and where do you think the fight will be won and lost? Um, yeah, it's training well. Uh, you, you ain't seen him much in the gym before. He had a good, good camp for it. Uh, working on his putting the graft. He's coming in small, you know. Sometimes he's coming in he's a bit off, so you know, he's got the bit between his teeth. So I can only see a well born win. Jason, you've, you've been in some big fights. You've challenged for the British title before. Safe to say that, is this the biggest fight of your career today? Yeah, because obviously the British title is massive. I've, I've had two attempts at it now. And, um, Frankie Gabby was probably a bit too early for me. Gang kills, I am young. The money and selling those tickets there. We took that fight. Kill, used to kill me to make the weight. But uh, I was disarmed after that. Moved up, bends back again. So I'm just keep bouncing back. Things happen for a reason, and this is my time. Middleweight, what I've done to Morrison with a camp. Obviously, Tommy Lankford, a good boxer, got him with brilliant trainer, and he's had Frank Warner back on him for five fights camps. It's brilliant. You need that in professional boxing. I've seen it the last 12 months, I've been in for 12 months. Dean Hitchcock sponsoring them, way every week. You can get him from the loving life, and the loving boxing, and the challenge Marcus Morrison. And, um, I went off that whole little bounce back in. Obviously, I had to have the British and people having in order. But boxing business. And I think this is, this is my time. If, if I don't beat Langford's person, I can beat for a British title. The time, how show. He's saying that he's giving me a payday. They give me a payday. I want this fight for more than anything. Yeah, but I have to give you a payday, though, wouldn't I? Who's the draw? Well, you've got the British, so you yeah, can give so, you call the shots. Yeah, so, so, I'm, so I'm not belittling you, I'm just, I'm just telling the fact, you know. Just tell the fact. You've got to take two to make a fight. Of course it does. Well, I could fight somebody else, and it's still do the same. So you've played, you've done it. It's still do the same. You've done the deal, it's a fair play to you. Yeah. You've done the deal. So who's given what then? When you're on the internet, we're your little fucking baggies, mate. That's your baggies, mate, then? I don't have to call them up on the internet. I'm calling them the shows on. <laughs> yeah. Proper people putting the shows on, mate. Proper West Brom. What are you talking about? They're going to come from Denver and have coaches, mate. 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 A jack apart from being mandatory, apart from mandatory challenge, a jack on the apart from finding the world level, out, we apart from finding the world level. Jay, you think thing. you can bang, mate? You've got a lower knockout percentage than me. That's fact. It's on the fucking thing. It's fact. Yeah, but look, I've got to bounce back up weights and different. What? What? What's that? You're not a middleweight. You're And also, look at who you're saying. You can bang and everything, and all this sort of thing. Look at who's knocked you down. And who stopped you? you You've stopped him stopped three times. You're trying to give him a Frankie Gavin when I was well tapped. If you make well tapped. Mate, I won't make well tapped. I won't make well tapped. But I'm bothered well 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 up. But you did for a long time. Yeah. And you made lot of And you and you would you quit in them fights, mate. You quit. You quit. You weren't. I was I was there with the Frankie Gavin. Yeah, yeah, You quit, mate. I think it's important to know that obviously we'll do a lot of talking post and we'll do a lot of talking on the night. So it's great that there's that tension in the room. It's great that both of you boxers are, are, are Albion fans. Just from your point of view, Jason, in, in that sense, does that act <coughs> seem to have added a little bit of needle to it? The fact that you're both supporters of West Brom and Albion, is it a case of getting the British title, but also um, proving yourself as, as the best boxer who's an Albion supporter? Is that Well, it's, it's a big fight, and I'm glad it's on a local show, because it's the big shows. It's, it's hard for people like this recognition of black country boxing. We need these shows. And this can be the start of the, the black country boxing. But the thing is, he's saying, oh, tickets, this and that. I'd come up here every week if I was mate, selling 200 tickets. Mate, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> oh, and you're the one who's mentioned tickets, not me. You know what I mean? I'll you're, do it. You're not mentioned tickets. You're a clever man. You've what? done what you've got to do. Jay, I've been a season that. ticket holder since I lived in fucking Devon. So it doesn't care. matter, does it? I where I come from. The, the reason why people come and follow me is because they see me week in, week out. They're mates of me. They, they don't see you, Jay. I've had so many people yeah. that I've They don't see you. Family, like Mate, I've got two yeah, families. I've got two kids. I'll take my, sandy, my sad day to come up and sell my tickets and open the business side of me. Mate, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm an Albion fan. It's nothing yeah, to do with it. I'm an Albion fan. I'm an Albion fan. And I'm glad that one of us is still going to be a winner when that this point. So I don't know what you're getting at with the West Brom <coughs> line and all the mm. nonsense about you. You're bitter and jealous that people from around here follow me. I am not jealous. You are, mate. Of course, why would you? Hold on a minute. Let's get you. 
fought Frankie, a Midlands, that was, that was a Midlands derby, right? He's a blue nose. Where was the Albion shops then, all them years ago? Where was the West Brom? What, so you didn't support Albion then, but you support them now? No, they had to go. I've been, listen, all my cousins would go up all the way. I don't drink with them now, I don't drink, I'm in the gym. So they ain't got to go. Yeah, but I mean, what, if I'm selling tickets, what you're saying I'll though? Come up. You're saying you're not. You're saying what? You didn't go to the. You didn't go to the ground. Well, I've been to you, the game when I was a kid. Yeah, but you're telling me. I mean, you was a kid, so, you, yeah. so you're not oh, West Brom fan, are you? You're not an Albion. You don't mate, go. You're from Devon. They fuck off back to there with the mate. Oh, <laughs> mate, oh, <laughs> mate, listen. I'm telling you now. This is the way I'm from Devon. I'm oh, proud of it. Devon fucking knows where I'm. I'm from the Wellbones. Live round the corner from the ground. I don't care where they live. Then you can get to the ground every week, can't you? Yeah, I can easily get to the ground, but at the end of the day, I've got commitments, and I said I'm sick. Oh, yeah. Well, that's your problem, isn't it? Yeah, no, There's no need to be problem. bitter and jealous yeah, that I sell tickets. No, I, I go and meet people I'm and I talk to people. Keep them to show. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> well, well, you've said absolutely nothing there, Jay, about anything to do with West Brom or anything. You've you admitted that you don't go and you, you ain't a West Brom fan. For one reason. Yeah. Well, because you, you've got in with your baggage bird and all your mates and you sell the tickets and you're getting the program. Yeah. Play, no, no. Respect. I am jealous. No, listen. You sell your tickets and I'm a good team. Listen, Albion follow me. And, and, and this is getting too much about West Brom because it's a boxing match. Well, no. Albion follow me because I'm an active Albion fan and because of my achievements. I've won the Commonwealth. I've won the Intercontinental. I fought for a world title. And I'm a British title. Yeah. It's not the same all vacant titles you've What does that matter, Jay? Who did you, who did you, you fought? You play. fought Morrison for a vacant title. Well, Morrison's a pumped up, pumped up line midway. He's never fought nobody. Got you. Yeah, but Jay, I'm four people, Jay. I'm four people, Jay. Jay, I'm the, I'm the British champion. You're fair play to you. I'm the British champion, Jay. So, so how can you, you can't be saying, if you're football. thinking, if you're thinking that, you, you, listen, I don't get, I've not got where I, I started off on a small horse, like you, yeah. I no, did, I'm saying, I'm fair plot, and then I got picked up by a promoter because he wanted me, because yeah. I was good, and then I won the Intercontinental in like my 13th fight, and then I won, when, when did you fight Frankie for the British? You're 17 for something? 17 yeah. fight? 13. So you'd, 13, you'd had longer to me to fight your first fight for, 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 for your first title, and you lost, and you quit. But we and then, and then I went and I fought, the, fought, I fought the current English champion at that time for the Commonwealth title. Yes, the Commonwealth was vacant because Billy Joe vacated because he won the world title. But I won the Commonwealth against the English champion. Yeah, have you beat an English champion? I, well, I had a chance. No, but have you beat one? Well, now I have a chance. No, but you haven't, have you? Yeah, yeah but I could, if, I, if I was in your oh, wait position, a and with oh, Ramps and that, you fought, I Did you fight for Middles title and lost? <laughs> Rob, you lost. You lost. You lost. You still lost, but mate. Yeah, lost. Then, then fight. Put past that. I don't worry about my fight and what I've done in your life and what you've done. I don't worry about that. We ain't bothered about what I've done in the last 12 months and what I'm doing for now. What have you done? So what, have done, what, have done, what have you done? 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 No, I'm asking you, what have you done apart from beating Morrison? But what would have happened? So you're telling me that you've had such a great last 12 months, you 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 scraped past the game. I've had a shit 12 months waiting around. Boys like yourself, you've probably been pissed off the last 12 months. Opportunities that and that, and then you get the Jay, you've said, like, you are, anyway. I think at this yeah, point, if we can bring in uh, Tom Jay, Tom, if we can bring you back to boxing, that'd be wonderful. Um, in terms of, of, of your career with, with Tommy, Tommy Langford, how proud are you of, of where you are at the moment, Tom? I mean, firstly, to underline what these pair are going on, let's everybody get a reality check. It's a 1300 arena, not a 13,000 arena, right? About tickets, you're going to do it anyway. And the only man who's had the balls, the balls, to take it on and pay the wages out what he's, he's, he's Errol Johnson. Right, so let's get everything into reality and get back down to boxing. Neither of these are throwing any money up or whatever or, you know, trying to be the best Albion fan. I produce the best boxers. I'm not into the football, I'm a Blues fan. That says it all. But into the boxing. And at the end of the day, I think it's absolutely unbelievably great for the black country and the Middle Ends that these can put it on because boxing is not a London based sport we produce them as well and it's down to these to show them that we can win these titles and people can defend them and challenge the wrong in great fights and these have got to do that and then CUZ goes on the pitch with the Albion thing let's get into the boxing because that's what my lad is.
in terms of being well said, Tom. Uh, in terms of being fair and fair now, and you've beaten Jason Wellborn, you've been in the job in the corner with, with, with Frankie in that sense, and so you know the plan to, to beat the man? Totally different, completely different. What? We'll have nothing to do with it. Frankie's a different boxer to Tom. Jason's a different boxer, more of a man, more mature, more educated now. Uh, it may have started off about money and everything else, but the British title has got a bit more of a smell than a £20 note. When you want to, you've got kids and you want to be able to put things on the map of shelf. And you win titles, they don't go like money, they're there forever. There's only an history and bigger things than tickets. And yeah. this, whoever the smallest ticket seller on this show will sell his most tickets. and. If anyone's flapping, they ain't going to sell the tickets. Another person will take them on because it's a 1300 arena, because they're not 13,000. Thanks, Tom. Tommy, a word from you. Uh, obviously, as champion, um, proud to be defending the title in the Black Country? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's not. Can you all hear me anyway? Um, definitely, I'd like to set, like, really second what Tom said. I should have said it before, but like BCB coming forward and putting this show on, you know, approaching me and. Um, Wanting to do this fight, it's fantastic. Um, it's great for the, it's great for the black country. It's great for the Midlands, um, and you know, it's it's just brilliant for me. Like I'm, it's going to be a brilliant night for me, a brilliant night for my fans, a brilliant night for everybody involved. So I'm just really looking forward to going out and putting on and uh, putting on a display. In terms of being British champion, it's something that you, I know it means an awful lot to you, and and obviously from your point of view. Not overlooking Jason, is it then a case of hopefully you'll you'll defend this and then win it outright and then move back onto the world stage? Is that the, the overall plan? I'm not planning an impact Jason Wellborn and like you know I'm I'm get i will give him it you know I know we had a bit of a <laughs> bit of a slacking match there, but I give him his due. He's a good fighter when he's on top. Um, he's you know he's tough, strong, he's game as has all been said. So I'm not looking past Jason, past Jason Wellborn, and I'm, I, I know 100% what to do and how to deal with him, and I will deal with him. Um, you know, I've always said it doesn't matter. That it, it, I've always said it's about um, you know my career and where I'm going, and if the if the opportunity is there to win the Lonsdale Battle right, I will do so. If it ain't, and I get a better or bigger opportunity to jump up a level or move up or whatever, as I've done before, as I've shown. And I'll do it again, but obviously, listen. The Lonsdale belt is amazing. It's a beautiful belt. But if the chance is there to take it and to do it and own it, then I'm going to do it. I would you say, although passions run, run highly, you've both got a lot of respect for each other, and it's just a case of my best moment on the evening. Yeah. I, listen, I, I, uh, I had no problems. I had no problems with Jason before, and I, you know, I always got him in my spider. You know, we sat on the same table at the boxing Midland Boxing Awards, and we got on. You know, I've never had a not had a problem with him. Um, I'm gonna, I've got a problem now, so I'm gonna because I'm fighting it. But like that's that's all, and, and you know the way he's gone about it is is where my issue lies. But um, like you said, best man I win on night, and that'll be me. Tommy, Jason, thanks for your time. Any questions from the floor before we do some pictures and then one-on-ones? <coughs> no? That's it. Again, on behalf of BCB Promotions and our sponsors, Amphion Construction, Alliance Scaffolding and Grover Casino Warsaw, thanks for your time this afternoon, much appreciated. What we'll do now, we'll, we'll get a quick head-to-head -head here with the, with the three members of the undercard just in front of the, the signage, and then um, photographers and, and press can go down pitch side with, with Tommy and Jason to get some shots. Each side, Adam will will ta will escort uh, members of the press and, and the fighters down there. The three members of the undercard will remain in the room. So, if there's any of the press who want to do the undercard ones first, once the pictures have been done, Tommy and Jason will come back up here, and there'll be an opportunity for one-on-ones there. Is that okay? Brilliant. Thanks a lot.